Hello, welcome to my channel. I received a question about linear bearings and how do we use them on 3D printers. So this video is about this topic. Here you can see a couple of examples. The small ones are LM8UU bearings and the larger ones are LM12LUU bearings and both work with uh, uh, circular smooth rods like this one here but there are many types of linear bearings these are the most commonly used ones on 3d printers so i will discuss these ones so what are linear bearings or more precisely linear motion bearings these things are basically slides which allow movement along one line free movement along one line but no other directions i already put one uh, lm8uu bearing on this eight millimeter rod and if i lift this up you could see that it just slides under its own weight so there's very little friction but it moves along the rod so this rod restricts the movement along this line and um, this bearing moves on this slide with very little friction and uh, no wobble no play so how does it do it there are ball bearings in this type of uh, linear bearings i try to focus on this bigger one so you may see it yep so over there you can see there is one line of tiny balls inside and there are four lines of them it's hard to see because they are so tiny but there there are balls inside so this bearing is a linear ball bearing but there are other types like uh, plastic bearings which doesn't have any balls and uh, some bushings and so on these balls touch the the rod but nothing else inside the bearing so that makes it possible that there's so little friction all right so here is my 3d printer so we will check how the bearings work on this printer so the printer of course has a printing head and uh, how it works it tries to move this head along x y and the z axis and the software calculates these coordinates so that these axes are perpendicular on each other and uh, the head can only move along these lines so how do we achieve this this is the x-axis we have some smooth rods here and the head moves along these rods when the head moves in this direction the x direction there's no other kind of uh, movement on this particular assembly here now this whole assembly that can move along the y axis here so this is a smooth rod here and there's a pair of that on the other side and the whole assembly moves along the y axis and on this printer the tray this is the tray or print pad it moves up and down so this is the z-axis and the tray moves along the z-axis and there are bearings on each axis so here we have a carbon fiber rod on this one so i cannot use metal bearings the metal bearings you have seen those tiny balls has very hard balls inside and those would damage this rod therefore you can use something some smooth pushing or some plastic bearing you can buy plastic bearing from professional manufacturers but this one 
actually is a 3D printed one, so I'm experimenting with this one. So far it works quite well. I don't know how long it will last, but we will see. So on the this is on the x-axis. On the y-axis I have these couplers here which couples this whole assembly to the y-axis and these have inside some linear bearings these ones again some plastic bearings but we could use elamate uu bearing here because this one is a eight millimeter rod so the diameter of this rod is eight millimeters inside diameter of this bearing eight millimeters we could use this but i had a similar problem that I didn't buy stainless hardened steel for this axis and this material this is steel but it's soft and uh, the element you metal bearing I tried first carved this rod so damaged the rod therefore I replaced it to a plastic bearing I have a similar solution on the Z axis for the very same reason. This rod is a 12 millimeter steel rod, and uh, the LM12 LUU bearing would carve this, so I made a replacement. But uh, I cannot recommend yet these replacements, I don't know how well they will work, but uh, so far, so good. Okay, so how these bearings, or more precisely the uh, assemblies around those bearings, how do they move? So we have motors here, and on the other side, and this is one way of uh, moving along the line. So we use timing belts here, so you see those tiny teeth on the, on the belt. And these belts are attached, or actually in this printer going through this uh, uh, carriage here. And as the motor rotates the shaft, it moves the belt and it takes the carriage with it. And uh, the bearing restricts the motion along this line. So one way of doing movement is with the timing belt. The other way is on the z-axis. So we have a motor down there, over there, and that motor rotates a threaded rod. Okay, so it moves a threaded rod, rotates it, and on the rod there's a nut. You cannot see very well, but there's a nut here which is fixed to this yellow uh, plastic here which connects it to the uh, aluminum extrusion, which is part of the tray. So the nut, which is on the threaded rod, is fixed to the tray and as it this rotates the nut moves up and down so now I rotate it by hand maybe you can see it, it should move a little bit so this moves up and down and the linear bearings restrict the motion to this vertical line here so this is how linear bearings work on 3d printers of course, as I mentioned earlier, there are many kinds of linear bearings, but this is the most frequently used on these sized printers. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and see you in the next video.